Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and my new format of posting twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure to like and subscribe. Again, if you didn't know already, this is going to be my new setup for this channel, which used to be Digital Film Dojo and used to be like CK Extras or CK 1002 or something like that. But I'm going to be doing these vlogging style videos going over behind the scenes of CK Productions, filmmaking tips, tricks, and tutorials, all things having to do with video production. And today I'm going to go over my camera setup for when we shoot CK videos. I'm usually the main cinematographer for our shoots, unless I'm on camera, of course. Not only will I show the camera setup, I'm also going to show you some of the production tools that we use while we're shooting. The first and most obvious tool that we use is the camera. Not this camera, it's that camera, actually. No, 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 no. Camera. Not that camera. 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 This camera you see right there. The camera that we use is a Canon C100 Mark II. We've been using this camera for about three years now. We used to use this Canon 6D for our videos before that. It's a solid video camera and it shoots cinema grade video. And it has a lot of features that we love built into it. It also is a Canon camera, so it works with all the lenses that we've used in the past as well. I had gotten used to filming with cameras like this in film school that was a little bit more cinema quality than just a DSLR that we were using before. Plus the battery life is just great. It's great for shoots when we're outside for a really long time. And the C-Log picture style works well with skink tones. I could go on and on. You know what? I'm gonna make a future video about this camera and we'll go over all the cool stuff in there. So typically when we're shooting indoors, we have the camera on a tripod and the audio running straight into the camera on the top handle. But for outdoor shoots, we usually use this stabilizer. It's not really stable right now, but this is the Zion Crane 2 or the Jun Crane, however you pronounce it. It's similar to the Ronin S, just a little different and more expensive because the Ronin S was announced right after I bought this and they wanted a competitive price to compete with this. But anyways, I have no regrets. This stabilizer has been great for our productions. It's even been able to withstand a camera this big with a few adjustments made to it. I really like using the stabilizer in set because it makes things so much quicker. Having to move the tripod around to each one of our shots, it just takes so much time and we're gonna able to get so many more shots if we just keep it on the stabilizer. And usually our shooting schedules are really tight and we get a lot of shots done in a short amount of time. The trade-off is for sound, you're gonna have to record the sound separately on something like a Zoom H4n, like we're recording now. You can't connect the XLR cable to the camera when it's on the stabilizer because we need to take the top handle off and because the cable gets in the way of the stabilizer. For audio, we also use this boom pole. And this boom pole is great because you can stick XLR right in the end here. You don't have to run it up all the way to the side like our old boom pole used to be. And that way we can also use shorter cables and it's so much more easier to manage. Okay, so I just realized something while editing this video. I never showed you guys the actual microphone that we use when we're recording all these videos. I talked about the boom pole and uh, everything else, but I didn't show you the microphone. So this is the, the microphone that we use. It's a Sennheiser uh, MKE 600. Uh, we either put this on the boom pole or we put it on like a mic stand. I put it on a mic stand when I make these videos here, but for CK videos out in the field, we put this on a boom pole and move this around. XLR goes in here. And that's how we uh, record audio. It makes it a lot easier to record audio because you can get this a lot closer to your subject, especially when the camera is, you know, pretty far away from the shot. When the camera's pretty far away in the shot and this is on the camera, it's not gonna be really high quality video because it's just gonna be too far away from the camera. And mic placement is really important when you're trying to get audio. Right, Mooney? Audio is important, right, Mooney? Yes, audio is very important. Cats are very important too as well. Honestly, every piece of equipment that we use and the setup that we do is a result of us finding new ways to save time and hassle when we're on set. Our shoots are honestly so much more efficient than other film sets I've been on. And lastly, we have lights. For this setup, there's one light here and one light over there. And the window over here is acting as sort of like my key light in the scene. We don't use lights outdoors unless it's dark out, but for indoor shoots, we have a set of three light panels. They're easy to set up, they don't draw a lot of power, and you can easily control the color temperature. Intricate lighting setups isn't something that matters too much for our channel, so we haven't invested a lot of time and money into our lights. And that's our setup. Pretty simple, huh? It usually requires at least two crew members, one cameraman and one sound person. Of course, we usually try to have more, but many times when we're shooting, it's just me, Joe, and Brandon. We've really improved our skeleton crew abilities over the years. And the size of our crew is not a barrier for us to make good content. It's really fun to try new things and discover new tools that we can use for our production. I'm really looking forward to this new format of this channel and making videos for you guys twice a week, along with the main video that we post on our CK channel every week. So essentially you're getting three videos per week. 
Be sure to like and subscribe to keep updated. I post every Thursday and Sunday. Also, my Instagram's a thing, so check that out if you want to as well. And lastly, if there's any video production tips, tricks, and tutorials you want to see in the future, go ahead and comment those down below. With that, I hope you guys have a nice week, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye, everyone.